Well, as you heard, the president not taking responsibility for that deadly Capitol Hill riot as the House prepares to vote whether to impeach him on a sole charge of inciting insurrection. ABC 13 reporter Tom Abrams spoke to a legal expert about a provision in the 14th Amendment of the Constitution that could be used to remove a lawmaker from office. Tom? That's right. You may have heard a lot of talk in recent days about the 14th Amendment. But what exactly is that amendment, particularly Section 3? And how might lawmakers use this arcane provision of the Constitution to remove the president or members of Congress? We went to a constitutional law expert for an answer. President Trump has a way of making the most obscure provisions of the Constitution very important. Josh Blackman says the 14th Amendment, Section 3, was added to the Constitution in the 1860s. During the Civil War, you had many members of Congress who basically left Congress to go serve the Confederacy. And this provision was enacted to say if you were a, uh, if you held a certain position in the, in the government, and you joined the side of insurrection, you joined the Confederacy, and you supported the enemy, uh, you can then be disqualified from holding certain federal offices in the future. Here's the language. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemy thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each House, remove such disability. There is question, Blackman says, as to whether it actually applies to the president. That's never been tried before, though it makes up the argument for the article of impeachment that threatens President Trump in the waning days of his presidency. But one of the grounds for impeachment is that he engaged in this insurrection in violation of the 14th Amendment. So this is all very novel. This is an obscure provision of the Constitution, which no one ever thought about before today. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. As for members of Congress, Blackman also believes it's unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely any members of Congress would be removed given that two-thirds vote threshold to take someone out of office. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Tom Abrams, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.